What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to solve a non-exact differential equation. Now first of all we don't know whether an exact difference like whether an equation is exact or non-exact until we check it. Now how do we check it? First we have to know that whatever the value in front of this dx is m of x comma y and whatever the value in front of this dy is n of x comma y. So when we take the derivative of this one with respect to y and when we take the derivative of this one with respect to x, these two must be equal in order to be exact. If it's not equal, then it's non-exact. So we have to go ahead and find out the integrating factor to solve this problem. Now let's see whether these two are equal. Now if I take the derivative of the first term with respect to y, what's going to happen? We treat x as a constant. This is going to be just 3y square times x. So we can say 3xy square. Now let's go ahead and find the derivative of n with respect to x. So we treat y as a constant. So this is going to be 2xy square. 2xy square and this one will become 0 because this is a constant. If we take the derivative of a constant, that's going to be 0. Now here you can see these two are not equal. So we have to find out the integrating factor. Now to find the integrating factor, we use this equation. Mu e power, actually mu is equal to e power integration partial derivative of n with respect to x or in simple term we can just write it as nx right nx minus my divided by m okay now we don't know which one we are going to integrate with until we solve and simplify because whatever the value left we have to integrate that this one with that term now let's see what we get here we have nx we found out already that's 2xy square so we can just go ahead and plug it right here. 2xy square minus my, we found out that's 3xy square. 3xy square divided by m. m is xy cube. xy cube. Now let's go ahead and simplify this term. If you simplify 2xy square minus 3xy square, that's going to be negative xy square. So this is going to be e power integral negative xy square divided by xy cube. From this one you can see this x y square and x here we will have y square cancel so we will have a y remaining and negative will remain so we will have e power integral of negative 1 over y okay now so if we have y alone we have to do the integration with respect to y now this is we can move this negative to the front since it's a constant negative integral of 1 over y that's going to be ln of y and we don't have to add a constant for the integrating factor because after we find out the integrating factor we, we are going to multiply it by both sides so this constant will cancel anyway so we don't have to worry about this constant and uh, we cannot cancel this e and lound in this pattern we have to move this negative to the other side if we do that this is going to be e power lound y power minus 1 e and lon cancels so we will get y power minus 1 we can write this one as 1 over y okay this is our integrating factor now after we find out the integrating factor we have to multiply everything by the integrating factor so we are going to multiply everything by integrating factor now if we do that this is going to become 1 over y times xy cube that's going to become xy square so this is going to become xy square and then here this is going to become x square y plus 1 x square y plus x square y plus 1 over y okay and here we will have dx and this is dy all together now let's go ahead and see whether we get exact differential equation now now here this is our new m and this is our new n of x comma y now we have to take the m with respect to y and n with respect to x and see whether these two are equal now if you take the derivative of m with respect to respect to y this is going to be 2 y x 2 y x and if you take the derivative of this n with respect to x this is going to become 2 x y and this will become zero because when we do the integrate i mean derivative with respect to x this y will be treated as a constant so this whole thing is a constant so this will become zero 
okay not plus this should be equal now here you can see my and nx i equal 2yx and 2xy both are same so we can go ahead and do the next step the next step is after now we have to do the exact differential equation like if you solve an extra exact differential equation you know how to continue further right now let's go ahead and continue okay now what we are going to do first we are going to equate this m of x y to a function with partial derivative of x so that's going to be just x y cube and also we will equate this function or this n to a function with partial derivative y that's going to be x square y square plus 1 now what we do we keep one term as it is and integrate the other one so we integrate this one here we have to integrate with this one with respect to x in order to get rid of this partial derivative so if we integrate this one with respect to x we will have a function of x comma y and we are going to integrate this one with respect to x x y cube dx this is going to be x square divided by 2 y cube to y cube and when we integrate with respect to x we have to add a constant that constant should be a function of y so here we will have h of y now this is going to be our final answer but we cannot express this h of y like this we have to find out what it is now to find out what it is what we do we take the derivative of this one with respect to y and compare with this one so if i take the derivative of this one with respect to y we treat as x as a constant so this is going to be 3 y square times 3 x square y square divided by 2 3 x square y square actually y cube not it's y square because we are taking the derivative of y so 3x square y square divided by 2 and here we will have h prime of y okay here something doesn't looks right okay let's see what it is here we have half let me see whether I did everything correct. Okay, here I made a mistake right here. I should grab the new function, right? So this whole thing is a mistake. Because when I do that, the first term always should match with this one. So I made a mistake by grabbing this, this function. Because after we changing the things, we have to pick up this one. Now let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's continue with this one our function with partial derivative of x is equal to x y square and function with partial derivative of y is x square y plus 1 over y okay now we keep one of one of them as it is let's keep this one as it is and we integrate this one with respect to x so f of x comma y integrate this one with respect to x x y square dx now this is integration with respect to x we treat y as a constant so this is going to be x square divided by 2 y square we have to add a constant when we do the integration with respect to x we have to add a constant that should be a function of y so this should be h of y now the next thing is we have to find the derivative of this one with respect to y and compare with this one f of y actually f y this partial derivative of this one with respect to y that's going to be 2 x square y divided by 2 so 2 2 cancels so we will get x square y and then this function is going to be h prime of y now we can go ahead and compare this is the mistake i found out because when we compare these two the first term will most likely be the same right this is always like mostly be the same so from that one we know that if we've made a mistake that's going to show us now from this one we can find out h prime of y is equal to 1 over y h prime of y is equal to 1 over y now we have to find out what is h of y is because we are going to express our final answer as this but we cannot keep it as h of y we have to find out what it is now here h prime of y is 1 over y so h of y is integration of this one if we integrate h prime of y that will give us h of y right but we have to integrate with this this one with respect to y we have to do the same thing other side 1 over y dy 
So if we integrate integration and derivative cancels each other, we will get h of y. And this is going to be just ln of y. Here we have to add a constant. Let's call this one c. Okay. Now the, the next thing is, let's call this one k. Okay. Because we are going to write this one now. Let's write this one f of x comma y. I'm bringing this equation f of x comma y is equal to x square divided by 2 plus actually not plus y square plus instead of h of y I am adding this one ln of y plus k now after we find out everything we have to equate this one to a constant so we can say c let's call this one c minus k is equal to I bring this k to the other side so c minus k is equal to x square divided by 2 y square x square divided by 2 y square plus ln of y ln of y so we can c minus k we can add them together and create a new constant so let's call this one c1 c1 is equal to x square divided by 2 y square plus ln of y and that's going to be our final solution and that's how we solve a non-exact differential equation the first step is we have to show this is non-exact by equating the partial derivative of this one with respect to y and partial derivative of this, this one with respect to x and show them this is not equal then we had find the find out the integrating factor using this equation that was e power e power n x actually yeah n x minus m y divided by m so this is the equation and we have to integrate with respect to whatever the remaining value if, if y is remaining we have to integrate with respect to y and we have to find out the integrating factor and we have to multiply everything by it and then we solve it as we solve an exact differential equation i hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to watch i mean if you want to watch more videos on differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist and also if you have any question put it in put it in the comment section i will answer as as soon as possible see you next time